Apple's M3 MacBook Pro has quickly become the most important part of my tech setup. Five months later though, is the M3 Pro good enough or is there a better option? From the moment I unboxed this MacBook, I was captivated by its elegance. The space black finish in particular has been a standout feature for me. Its deep, lustrous hue adds a touch of sophistication to the MacBook's aluminium chassis, making it stand out in Apple's lineup. Over the past five months, as I've carried the M3 MacBook Pro with me through various settings, its design has proven to be not just visually appealing, but also highly functional. The slim profile and sturdy construction make it a joy to carry around, whether I'm commuting to work or just here in the studio. Of course, no design is without its quirks, and the space black finish is no exception. While it certainly adds to the MacBook's aesthetic appeal, it does have a tendency to attract fingerprints and smudges, despite Apple's efforts to eliminate this issue altogether. However, I found that a quick wipe with a microfiber cloth is usually all it takes to restore its pristine appearance. Looking ahead, I am curious to see what Apple have in store for the future of its MacBook lineup. With WWDC only a couple of months away, there are rumours suggesting new MacBook hardware. If this is the case, part of me is hoping Apple brings something new to the table, like they did with the Touch Bar in 2016, as opposed to just upgraded internals, but only time will tell. For now, the MacBook Pro design stands as a testament to Apple's commitment to sleekness, sophistication and functionality. Its seamless integration of form and function continues to set the standard for laptop design in the industry. Moving on to the display size, I opted for the 14 inch variant of the MacBook Pro and I could not be more happy with my decision. As a content creator who spends a significant amount of time editing videos, having a larger display is paramount to my workflow. This is why I have also invested in the studio display which perfectly complements my editing setup here in the studio. While most of my editing tasks are carried out on the studio display, there are occasions where I need to work directly on the MacBook Pro's display. Despite its smaller size compared to the 16 inch variant, I find that the benefits I gain from choosing the 14 inch model far outweigh any limitations. The lighter design and more compact form factor make it easier to carry around, especially in situations like travelling on an aeroplane or working in cramped spaces. For tasks like typing up scripts or handling lighter workloads, the 14 inch display is more than sufficient. However, when I have extensive editing projects to tackle, I simply plug into the the studio display and use that as my main screen. The seamless integration between the MacBook Pro and the external display enhances my productivity and allows me to focus on the creative process without any distractions. If you're a content creator in a similar position, constantly juggling between different tasks and environments, I would highly recommend considering the 14-inch MacBook Pro. Its versatility combined with the option to connect to an external display for more intensive work, offers the best of both worlds in terms of portability and performance. However, if you're someone who does not have an external display at all and rely solely on your Mac, then that is when I would start considering the 16 inch variant as the extra screen real estate is extremely helpful when working directly on the MacBook. Now let's dive into the performance of the M3 MacBook Pro, powered by Apple's new M3 Pro chip. Equipped with 18GB of RAM, my machine has been a reliable workhorse for my creative endeavours. For the tasks I typically undertake, including video editing and content creation, the M3 MacBook Pro has handled everything admirably well. While there have been a few instances where the MacBook Pro has struggled, particularly when dealing with heavy loads of motion effects, transitions and filters, within a single project, these occurrences have been rare. It's worth noting that for users with more demanding workflows requiring extensive use of such effects, a higher spec machine may be more suitable. 
However, for creators like myself, who engage in less resource-intensive tasks, the base M3 Pro configuration has proven more than adequate. One question I have been asked is whether I regret not opting for more RAM. Honestly, I haven't felt the need for it. The 18 gigabytes of RAM have been more than good enough for my workflow, and I haven't encountered any significant performance bottlenecks due to insufficient memory. As for storage, while I sometimes wish for more internal space, I've come to realize as a creator, there will always be a need for storage. So instead, I rely on external SSDs to expand my storage capacity, providing flexibility and scalability to accommodate my growing library of projects. In summary, the M3 Mac Pro with its M3 Pro chip and 18 gigabytes of RAM has exceeded my expectations in terms of performance for my creative tasks. While it may not be the most powerful machine on the market, it strikes a balance between capability and affordability, making it an ideal choice for creators looking for a versatile and reliable tool to bring their visions to life. Now, let's talk about battery life on the M3 MacBook Pro, and admittedly, I hesitated to include this in the script as it seems almost redundant given Apple's reputation for outstanding battery performance since transitioning to their in-house silicon. However, I believe it's worth mentioning just how impressive the battery life of this machine truly is. In line with Apple's track record, the battery in the M3 MacBook Pro is exceptional, even under heavy usage. In my experience, I've never encountered a scenario where I've been able to drain the battery completely. This is largely due to my daily setup where the MacBook Pro is connected to my studio display which charges it while I work. With this configuration, it's virtually impossible for me to deplete the battery. Whether I'm editing videos, multitasking with multiple applications or engaging in other resource intensive tasks, the battery life remains steadfast, providing me with uninterrupted productivity throughout the day. While it may seem like a minor detail, the reliable battery life of the M3 MacBook Pro contributes significantly to its overall appeal, particularly for professionals who rely on their devices for extended periods. As we approach June the 10th, all eyes are on Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. Historically, this event has been a platform for Apple to unveil new hardware as well as new software, and this year may be no exception. If you're currently considering the M3 MacBook Pro but can afford to wait, I recommend holding off until after WWDC to see if any new releases are announced. However, if WWDC doesn't pique your interest or you're in immediate need of a powerful and portable device, the M3 MacBook Pro is certainly worth investing in. Its combination of performance, portability and versatility make it a valuable asset for professionals who require a machine capable of handling intensive tasks on the go. In conclusion, the M3 MacBook Pro has more than handled my workload over the last five months. From its sleek design and powerful performance to its exceptional battery life and versatility, this machine has exceeded expectations in every aspect. As a content creator, I've come to rely on its capabilities day in and day out, whether I'm editing videos, typing up scripts or tackling other tasks. While the decision to invest in the M3 MacBook Pro may be influenced by factors like design preferences, display size, and performance requirements. One thing remains certain. This machine delivers on its promise of reliability and innovation. Its seamless integration into my workflow has enhanced the way I create, collaborate and bring ideas to life. With WWDC right around the corner, I cannot wait to see where Apple take things with the new iteration of the MacBook. But for now, I am more than content knowing that I have a reliable machine which can easily run my business. If you are in the market for a powerful and portable device that can handle the demands of modern creativity, look no further than the M3 MacBook Pro. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and if you are still watching up to now then hit the thumbs up button and think about subscribing to the channel. For those of you who have noticed my iPhone setup in my last few videos and want the same wallpaper, which allows you to organise your apps like me, then check out my brand new Divide Wallpaper Pack. Link to that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.